longevity that's a hard thing to have you know you can write a song and be on the radio or you know be special when you're 24 and and then forgotten and I'm really grateful to all the people that have come to see X and kept us alive all these years and it is um, a reward I wasn't expecting and I'm, I'm really happy about it During the time that X was, in the early 80s, when X was really like doing um, as good as we could do, we'd be on American Bandstand. Um, Dick Clark yeah, was a big fan of X, and he asked me one day um, when I was on American Bandstand why we weren't on the radio. Because he said, you know, the Doors were on the radio, and, and Elvis was on the radio, and the Beatles were on the radio, and, and all these other bands that were on American Bandstand were on the radio, and it just goes. Like, you know, you should be on the radio. Why are you not? And I couldn't answer him, and I still can't answer Dick Clark. Um, so that's why it's called The Unheard Music, because it's kind of the documentation of the history of X, which is that we were shut out of the mainstream, as were most of those hardcore bands, and, and all the, you know, all the punk bands of that era were really shut out of the, of the mainstream. I'll just tell you really briefly, our first tour was New York City and Philadelphia. We went all the way from Los Angeles, drove in the wintertime to New York to play a show because there was nowhere to play in between Los Angeles and New York. And we went in John's, what was it, International Harvester Yellow. It was like the precursor to the, you know, SUV and it broke down every day. And it was five people, because Billy brought his girlfriend, like sleeping in the car and staying at people's houses and everything went wrong. And um, I wrote that song, Your Phone's Off the Hook But You're Not, in New York City about a, f a person that wanted us to drive them to the gig because we were opening for them, so therefore we would shuttle their equipment around for them. And we said no, so they got very angry and then we looked out the window and our International Harvester was being towed away by the city of New York for parking illegally. And John screamed out the window, hey, I'll be right down, please don't tow away my car. It's not a tow away zone. And the guy said, hey buddy, all of New York is a tow away zone. I really love um, doing that song, The World's a Mess, It's in My Kiss, because it's part political and part personal, part romantic, part um, scary. Um, I think the music is great, and um, I love trying to hit those high notes every time. Uh, I just think it's a great, uh, kind of cathartic song. I've had the best life I could have ever asked for because thousands and thousands of people have given it to me. You know, I didn't earn this. I, I, I was a gift. You know, I won this from the people who love X and love what I do and gave me the best life I could ever have. So I'm very lucky, and I hope other people get that as well. You know, it's a great thing.